Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound BaNO3-2. Now, if we're dealing with ionic compounds and we see that we have three or more different elements, in this case we have three, we have barium, nitrogen, and oxygen, you know that you have at least one polyatomic ion. So it's always easiest to identify the polyatomic and then work from there. Now keep in mind that polyatomic ions are never on the periodic table. You need to memorize them. So that's why I just wrote down the polyatomic that we're going to be dealing with here, but you should memorize these. Use flashcards, do whatever you got to do to just memorize it. NO3, which is always a negative one charge, is always called nitrate. And here it is right here. So we have the polyatomic nitrate here, NO3, and the other element is Ba, which is barium. Barium is a metal because it's in group two on the periodic table. It's down here. All of group two are metals. They're alkaline earth metals. So we have an ionic compound. We got a metal and a polyatomic ion. Let's name it. The metal name always stays exactly the same. So barium would just be barium. And now I have the polyatomic and polyatomic names always stay the same. So if it was nitrate before, it's nitrate now. So we have barium nitrate. Now we just got to, you know, figure out, do I need a Roman numeral or not? Roman numerals are only used for transitional metals. Since barium is in group two and it's not in this little block over here, I don't need a Roman numeral. So we're done. So BaNO32 is just barium nitrate. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Tell your friends for anyone who needs chemistry help. We also have, we also have physics and math help on this channel as well at the moment. So go check those out too. I hope you guys are doing great. Let's keep studying hard and have an awesome day. See you later. Bye-bye.